Star Shower Motion is the holiday laser light display that features moving laser lights on the side of your house. It's an updated version from the original that didn't have moving lights, it had static lights. This one moves and is a hot product in 2016. And today is my review of Star Shower Motion. Some of the features that are advertised for Star Shower Motion are that you can have a brilliant display on the side of your house with no ladders, no hanging. You just stick it in the ground, you plug it in, and you display lights, you project lights onto the side of your home. The lights are red and green only. It comes with an indoor base and an outdoor stake. There's a light sensor that will allow the unit to automatically turn on and off when it's dark or light. That's kind of a nice feature. The cord is extremely small. I'll show you that later. So that means you're gonna to have to use an extension cord. You can use it indoors or outdoors, supposedly, but you're also not supposed to look directly at it and you're not supposed to point it up in the air if you're within 10 miles of an airport. You can operate at any temperature between negative 30 and 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm gonna give a demonstration on how the lights look along with the various controls. As you can see, there's a switch on top there's actually two switches on top. This one controls the motion, this one controls the light selection. You can do green, uh, green and red, or off. There's no red only. So here is the green. That's with motion on. And when you press the red button, that pauses the motion. So if you can actually find a pattern you like and just pause it like that. I prefer the motion. So then when you move the selector over to the center, that goes off. And then when you go the other way, then you'll have green and red together. And again, you can pause the motion and restart the motion. The extension cord is technically 12 inches long, but if there's any kind of curve at all to it, it ends up being about 10 or 11 inches, as you can see. So you're definitely going to need an extension cord. If you live in a rainy environment, you're going to have to accommodate for that as well. In 2015, there was a star shower laser light that was heavily marketed on, on television. That product was uh, static. It did not have moving lights. Later that year, there was a star shower motion that was advertised, but it had a single light. Later in early 2016, they re-released the product of star shower motion with two lights, red and green, no blue. Sometimes you'll still see blue on the advertising. There's not a blue on star, star, star Shower Motion. You can find the original Star Shower laser lights in stores for about $40. Star Shower Motion costs about $50. But I used a 20% coupon for Bed Bath & Beyond, so I got it for $40. Okay, so I am out uh, in the back of my house, and I have the Star Shower turned on right now. As you can see, it lights up uh, pretty much the entire width of my house, and the ground in front of the star shower. I'll show you what it looks like up close. And there is the star shower back there. You can see how it has a kind of a conical uh, range of projection onto the house itself. I'm a little bit closer right now. Hopefully you can see that. I'm going to turn some lights on so you can get a better look around the house. So as you can see, it it does um, project pretty nicely. I'm going to get closer. You can see the, see the patterns up close. I have to have it about... It's about 25 feet back to cover the entire width of my house. If you can see that, it actually covers my chimney. I'm going to turn the star shower now so we can see how it projects um, onto 
backyard wall. I'm going to walk into the pattern a little bit. You can see it's on the wall here. About 50 feet away and it still looks pretty good. This is the side wall here. See how it looks on that palm tree? That's what the actual pattern looks like uh, up close, projected about a foot away straight down to the ground. You have to be careful not to have that go into the neighbor's windows. I don't think they would appreciate that too much. In the original star shower laser light, some people complained that the bulbs burned out quickly. I haven't had this long enough to know if that's an issue. I obviously haven't had an issue in my initial test. I will post a follow-up review if anything changes or if anything goes awry regarding that. But at this point, in my short period of time that I've had it, I haven't had any problems with, with durability. So far, I like it. The motion definitely adds a dynamic that the original lacked. It's a very attractive display and I've found that one unit can light up the entire back of my house. It's tall enough to light up a two-story house. In fact, on my single-story house, it shines far above it, which I don't even know if that's good or not because there have been warnings from the FAA not to shine laser lights up in the sky, so that might be something else to consider. But it certainly has a wide enough field, both vertically and horizontally, to light up an entire house with one unit. It's easy to install. Really, there's only two parts. You plug it in to a, an extension cord and you screw in either the base or the stake and it's ready to go. There's only two buttons to operate it. There's the motion button and then there's the one that toggles red, uh, that toggles red, green, or just green and off. Um, now I'm projecting it onto the side of my house, which has a much larger surface. It gives you an idea of how large of a projection area that the star motion has. Right now I have the solid green. I'm going to switch over to both colors. And this is just one unit. I'm about 40 feet back and it's easily covering the entire side of my house. The instructions do state, do not intentionally shine into eyes or face. Oops. The one thing I don't like about it is the 12 inch cord. That seems very stingy. It's, it's not long enough to really have any kind of use. You have to use an extension cord no matter where you place it. The only other problem I found with it is that it's not really designed for use with a timer. If you use a timer, you're going to have to manually hit the uh, motion button every day because the light sensor, when it turns the unit on and off, it kind of resets that. So a timer kind of messes up that. The instructions even say that it's not for use with a timer. So that's another problem. You're going to have to rely on the light sensor, which not everybody wants it to run all night until the next morning. But those two caveats aside, the small cord and the timer issue, I really like it. Unless there becomes a problem with durability that plagued the original, I think this is kind of a cool product. It certainly... Uh, has a wide enough field to light up my house. It has an attractive display and um, everybody here likes it. I use it indoors and out and my initial impression is that it's pretty cool. If there's a problem, I will post an update, but until then, my initial review is that Star Shower Motion is a good product. If you've used Star Shower Motion, please tell me what you think because your experience might be different than mine. I would like to hear from you in the comments below. And if you found this review at all useful, I would very much appreciate a subscribe so I can continue to bring you more ASEAN TV product reviews. Until next time, this is James White from Freaking Reviews. Thank you.